So today I got another box. <laughs> I keep saying I'm not getting more boxes, but then I get more boxes. Um, cause I guess I either forget about things or, you know, I buy things and I'm bad. <laughs> so anyways, let's try to get this open. Um, what I have today is, uh, Rosenlead, um, Bambi, I think it's like Romantic Glance, I think is what they call her, um, and I got her to split with my friend who wants the outfit, um, so, let me get this open here and see... Make sure everything's okay and check her out. Um, and then I am actually planning on um, copying the pattern of the outfit as well. So I will hopefully make her her own version in a different fabric um, soon. But the plan is just to make the um, to make the pattern, and then uh, from there, um, you know, just send it off, and then I'll worry about you know if the pattern works later. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I can't get this open. Hold on. We've got some padding tape down the corners too, so I'll fix that later. But anyways, here is our box. And we've got the wave, whoops, which I think I am um, sending this one to my friend as well. Um, so hopefully I'll have something that suits her here. Um, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> A little note on the bottom of this cute thing. Um, but there's a little note there that's just, you know, thank you for your purchase. I don't know if it's from the person who sent it to me or if it's from before. Um, or if it's something that goes with the... I don't know. That looks handwritten. But I'm not sure. But anyways. <laughs> here is the little dress. So this is going to my friend as well. Um, and then here's all her little things. So let's see what we got. Okay, so it's got a whole bunch of different stuff on both sides. Um, so I'll look at that a little bit more later. And then, whoop, it looks like this is her certificate. Okay, so she's, oh, Bambi Reverie. So she's limited basic Bambi Reverie. And then there's a picture, too, of the doll. And put this back in there. And then, whoops, there's like 
foam stuck on it. There we go. And then there's a book. It's got frozen lead. And then I don't know what's in here. This is probably like basic stuff. Oh, here's their little little poem. And some information about screening the doll. Yes, yeah, so it looks like mostly like stringing and probably care information. Um, yeah, I'll put in the end. Oh, uh -huh. more bear children. All right, so anyways, let me put that all back in here. These must be eyes. Oh, they're pretty. I like golden brown pretty eyes. And she is in here in the bubble wrap. get her temporarily all dressed up in her things um, just so we can see you know the full effect um, before I send you know, half her things off <laughs> oh her face up is really cute yeah she's really cute and she's got her little teeth it's really really cute and sweet so um oh I should have gotten like eye putty and stuff ready Ugh. so I probably have to pause this um or I can just get her dressed without her eyes because <laughs> I'd be lazy um let's see can I even get her okay there we go so it looks like her magnet is Pull, just pulling out so there's some putty here to get it open instead um oh is she missing her plate looks like she's missing her little rose and lead plate i'll have to check the pictures to see i thought she had it might be in the box somewhere let me check okay well it doesn't seem to have fallen out in the box or under the foam, so yeah, I'll have to ask the seller um, about it or check the pictures because I was pretty sure she had it in the pictures, so I don't know what happened. Um, but hopefully, we'll figure it out. Just move all of this stuff out of the way. Here we go. Um, and we will try to get her set up here. All right. So here is the dress. Okay, and then this little bow is a barrette. That's so cute. This and then I guess I will get the eye putty. So once I get her in the dress, we're gonna pause it for a second because you know, like I organize things and who knows where I put stuff. Okay, here we go. Now, this is actually quite snug, so it's probably only going to fit um, the Rosen lead size because they're really slim for being big babies. Um, so that's the other advantage of copying the pattern is I can also um, adjust it so I can make a version that fits the bigger girls and then I can also, you know, make a pattern with a separate apron because this is like sewn right into the dress. That's not my favorite. Um, wow, I guess she just has a dress and a wig and a barrette, and that's about it. 
All right, well, let me pause this. Um, where's the dress? Um, but yeah, I'll pause it and we'll get her eye putty and then we can get her the rest of the way set up and we can see what's going on. Okay, so I'm back. I put the eyes in and um, got them kind of positioned so they look kind of halfway decent. Um, you can't really see as well on camera, but um, you get the idea. There you go. So they're not too bad. And then I also really like that she's got these really light colored eyelashes. I think they're so sweet. And it really kind of emphasizes that her eyes are slightly open because they are so dark. And she's got this dark, you know, lid liner. Um, yeah, so that said, now we get to put on the wig and the hair bow. We'll see what she looks like all together. And then, like I said, I, um, my friend is um, going to be buying the wig and the dress. Um, from me so I'll be finding her her own wig um, and we'll see what I have in the house but still nice to see her all set up and her like original I guess original configuration or <laughs> I don't know how you want to say it but yeah so here she is oh this wig is a little bit heavy so she definitely needs like a potato ring to help hold it in place. But it's really pretty, really pretty color. Matches her eyebrows. Um, and let's get this little barrette on here. Let's see how we want to do this. Let me go over here. And let's see if we can... Uh, it just keeps sliding because it's so heavy, but there we go. Try to get her dress straightened out. So here she is, all set up. Her legs going crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is everything that came in the box. Um, and I didn't realize that she didn't even have socks or shoes, so I'll have to get her some little things. Um, I probably have some stuff around that she can wear. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to use this pattern as a base to make something um, for her to wear. Um, so I might change it a little bit. Um, like I said, make like the apron separate and use different fabric. But same idea. Um, and then this is this outfit um, and hair bow and wig will go to my friend. So yeah, so here she is and she's all cute and beautiful. Um, and oh, I have another box. So we're going to open that next. Um, it's from my friend um, Yumi Skies. So we're going to see what we got in that box. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, I think... That it is some chocolates that she made and this box seems kind of big so there might be something else in here I have no idea we will find out Oop. it will help if I can like you know cut the tape properly all right here we go Oh my, it looks like I got a lot of chocolates. I thought I was just getting one little box. I'm getting spoiled. <laughs> Let me open these up and we'll see what she sent me. Tape stuck on everything. Let me, um, there we go. Put this in my little pile of junk there. Okay. 
So we have, let's see how this opens. Okay, so they got the bubble wrap in there so they're not all flying around. Oh. Yummy. So we got chocolates. And let me check out what's going on in these two. This is like a lot. I'm, I'm, I really thought I was just getting one little box of chocolates. So, um, these guys, if you were watching this, thank you. Oh, this one looks like it's more, uh, It's like in the box. Yeah, this one has like a little tray. Oh, but they still escaped, of course. Let me organize these so you can see them. Oh, these are so cute. They're so pretty. So these all, um, Yumi Skies made these. So not only does she have adorable dollies, but she knows how to make amazing little cute little chocolates. These are all going to like fall over when I try to tip it so you can see. So I'm going to try to do like this side and then this side. <laughs> um, maybe I could actually do. Yeah, there we go. So you can see. So yeah, so she's um, made these. Close this one and we'll see what's in the last box. So I guess I got some overflows in that other box. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. I'll take it. I'll eat all the chocolate. It's fine. <laughs> okay. And then this last one. Okay, so this looks like it's kind of similar to the other one. It's got a little tray. Okay, yeah, so this is very similar kind of situation here. Um, but I'll still flip them over. We'll take a look. Okay, so some of these look like they're um, some like duplicates of some of the things in the other box. Here we go. So yeah, I don't know what anything is, but I guess I should try something. I'm gonna try one of these because there's a lot of them. <laughs> try this one. It's really pretty. It's like all swirly on the top. Ooh. It's like a fudge kind of moussey inside. Maybe fruity. I don't know if it's just that the chocolate is fruity. That's good. These are like some of my favorites are this like chocolate moussey stuff in the middle. <laughs> These are really good. So yeah, not only does she have adorable dolls, she can make adorable and delicious um, tasty treats. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, um, we got our dolly, we got some chocolates, and um, I'm gonna go until next time.